how to analyze your google ads campaign you know you have to determine uh, are you doing it well or not on google ads in this video i will be showing showing you about how to analyze your google ads campaign you know uh, analyzing google ads campaign is a bit different than doing the google ads audit you know i have a separate videos regarding google ads audit where i have discussed in step by step on what factors you know we need to understood and optimize our campaign but right now our strategy is how you can analyze uh, to understand like uh, how your uh, campaigns are performing on google ads how your work is done on google ads and as a overall is google ads a good advertising platform for your business to run or not so we are so this is a uh, my topic about this video so let's get started on how to analyze your google ads campaign uh, so what we have to do is you know for instance you know the ultimate goal of any campaign is to get profit yeah we understood like you know you are running you are advertising why you are advertising and your ultimate goal is to get more conversions more sales more leads or whatever your ultimate goal is but you know even everything you know goes back to getting more profit take the more uh, most out of your uh, investment take the most most out of whatever you are putting putting in this business so that is your ultimate goal so your goal is that getting more profit so are your campaigns are your marketing strategies helping you to get more customers you know because even not you know when you are running ads for offline business you know you cannot track conversions on google ads why you cannot track because visitor is coming by steps by foot on to your shop local shop and buying it uh, directly from this and not every visitor is going to fill the uh, comments form and telling you that yeah i saw your ad for google then on facebook and you know then you know i came here and even most people do not remember it you know where they first saw, saw or you know when they had an impression in their mind and you know for some you know you you have to use multi channels you know you are running an ad on tv you are running an ad on youtube and you are running an ad on google and you got running an ad on facebook and you know when a visitor sees your ad for three four times and you know then he eventually starts realizing yeah i saw that brand i don't know somewhere you know and we you know if he says that i saw that ad on uh, facebook but you know he forgot that the first time he saw the ad on the youtube second time he saw on the google third on the television fourth on the facebook you know he remembered the last action you know but the first three uh, advertising actions also has an impact on his mind so that is another important aspect of that uh, so yeah profit is your ultimate goal with it second is ros ros means return on ad spend you know for instance you can see this campaign uh, you can see you know for instance this campaign you know we you know uh, we got three conversions uh, with a cost of 299 dollars uh, with a total spend of 875 dollars so you know your cost of conversion uh, also plays a huge role but to understand your cost of conversion you have to understand the markets as well for, for instance if you are selling a 10000 dollar product uh, cost of conversion $300 is very good but if you are selling a product of uh, which is a $40 and the cost of conversion is $10 that is way too expensive way too expensive so you need to figure out what is your market and how much you can pay for each click and how much uh, you know pay for a sum you know let's say out of 100 clicks you only get 3 4 conversions so you need to figure out uh, by multiplying that factor to see that like 100 clicks are costing you at let's say one dollar 100 dollars and out of 100 dollars spent you are getting three visitors or four visitors now if every visitor is paying you one thousand dollars it means that you are generating revenue of four thousand dollars with spending of one hundred dollar and that is really awesome so you need to understand what is your ros uh, uh, in analyzing your campaigns on uh, google ads like you can see that here i'm analyzing that we are getting three conversions at dollar 299 so you know it also depends like i told you our product so in case if it matches it's perfectly fine in case if it does not it needs optimization it needs auditing it needs tweaking and you know uh, once you have gone with the uh, ros you need to focus on cpa cpa is a cost per action you know cpa is like we are paying 291 dollars for each conversion to be happen uh, for our campaign so if that again again if that is variable for you you can keep on going with it if that is not variable with you 
we need to uh, change the strategy you know we may also need to focus on back what campaign type but which strategy we are using it and uh, how does it performing for us so once you're done with this you need to focus on ctr now the click through rate uh, is an have an important role and i have discussed in various videos various videos you know why because for instance for instance for instance if you are targeting in a specific industry and your advertiser and your competitor is paying 0.4 dollar uh, and you are paying 0.2 dollar now which ad will be shown above obviously google will prefer the ad which is paying 0.4 dollar double the amount of money you are paying but you know in reality your ad being, is being shown above your competitor why because you know google analyze the data like we are right now analyzing the campaign google analyze that data and figured out like the the ad which is paying 0.4 dollar to google has got only one click in an hour now when we run our ad, when we run our ad and you know we had more improved ctr ctr mean click through rate we got more clicks because we had a more customized ad and we were paying half the amount 0.2 dollars you know but since we got three clicks so you know google made more money out of us even we are paying half of why how google is made money because in that one hour we got three clicks and we made the revenue 0.6 dollars to google and you know our competitor who is paying double amount 0.4 dollar but you know since he is getting only one click means they are do not have a relevant ad or visitors do not like that ad so you know his ad will be shown uh, below your ad so even he is being double than you but he his ad is still being shown below your ad why because your ad has see higher ctr higher click through rate and which will ultimately land you with higher quality score where, which is why you are paying half the amount of money and still getting better ad position so which is why it's important uh, to have higher ctr for your campaign and then cpc like you know cpc also has an impact and like i told you like uh, uh, for uh, 0.2 dollars also you are getting good clicks but 0.1 dollar is not feasible for google why because the three clicks is 0.3 dollars to google and the advertiser the other advertiser is paying 0.4 dollars so a good cpc is also a part of your advertising strategy your ad was only being shown because you had higher side ctr and you were paying more than your competitor like even at 0.2 dollar you were paying more than your competitor because your competitor was getting only one click <coughs> so that also has an impact on your advertising and marketing strategy and the sixth part is impressions you know how many impressions you are doing and you know as a marketer i believe more than the impression how much impact you are doing uh, or creating an impact on your users mind you know for instance for instance as a marketer i want my audience to think like whenever they want to think about google ads facebook ads or seo i want them to think about ali reza in their mind like i'm having a problem in google ads i want to run an ads i want to do an seo for my website ali reza should be uh, should come in their mind so that is a marketing impact or a strategy so believe more than the impressions i want you to make an impact on your audience so that people can remember you people can think like yeah if i have a pro problem in this industry or this niche i'm going to talk about this person that is a marketing strategy but apart from this coming back here you know how many impressions your uh, you know uh how many patients are being shown and then how many clicks are converting that part is that is a sales funnel part and that also plays an important uh role uh in analyzing your campaign so in case if we analyze this data let me make it bigger for you so you get an idea on what a good campaign has high profit less cpa more ros high roi a high ctr less cpc and high impression volume while a bad campaign what is a bad campaign i mean you must obviously know that a bad campaign has less profit margins high cpa less return on investment uh, less roi 
less return on ads uh, ad spend and less return on investment because you know in case when you are having less return on ad spend obviously you will have less return on investment less ctr i told you the story behind less ctr and because since you have less ctr it means that you have to pay more for each cpc and you know when you are paying more for each cpc and because you have less ctr it means that uh, your ad will be shown less to the people which will ultimately leads to less impression volume so yeah these are the few things you know uh, which can impact on you know uh, analyzing your ad campaign you know even uh, focusing on your ad type also is very important it is not always a good idea to have more clicks uh, but not conversion so you know what kind of a mindset you are giving with each ad is also very important is your ad creating curiosity about the product where you are landing your visitor or uh, curiosity is created about something else you know that can be also a contradicting factor you know which can ultimately leads to higher clicks but less sales you know and you know that is where bounce rate factors come in because if a visitor lands on your website and he even if he or she doesn't see what you know he or she expected when he clicked on your ad you know then it will be a certain disappointment for for, her, for him and google now will understand you know that your ad is giving them disappointment or they are not giving uh, not your uh, uh, landing page is not fulfilling the expectations which have been uh, created after seeing your ad which will again ultimately lads you towards uh, your campaign to be you know with the high bounce rate and low average time spent you know google will again think that this ad or this landing page is not a good advertising uh, advertiser or a marketer or people does not do not like about them so yeah you need to focus on these things and even there are certain things you know like uh, you also need to focus on ad schedules you know uh, locations target so there are so many things you know remember marketing is all about testing 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 never settle you need to focus on events you need to market on events you know events uh, like uh, events uh, uh, christmas new year eid uh, uh, i mean diwali there are many events you know depending upon the location we are targeting and uh, their audience you know uh, so you can f uh, or uh, your target market and then you know can catch on those and you know make campaigns of us deals you know these are also a part of analyzing your campaign so you need to uh, see what your competitors are doing when you need to have a strong eye on your competitor uh, what the what kind of a new strategies they are launching what kind of a new marketing activities they are doing so you know once you keep on uh, having these you know this will ultimately leads towards a fruitful uh, conversion for your uh, business so yeah these are the few strategies which i think that are should be the part of how to analyze your google ads campaign uh, i hope you like this video uh, in case if you have any questions comments or if you think there is a point if i have missed or in case if you want to add a point or in case if you want to second any of my point you are more than welcome to write in the comments box i will be looking forward for your comment and make sure to subscribe to my channel once again thank you for uh, watching this video thank you and bye bye